my sparkling sunshines. Okay, uh, I haven't got to just show you everything. I, well, I did show it, but I didn't. I didn't say anything. I didn't let you know what I what I was attempting to make. So, but as you can see, by looking at everything, see, I forgot to show it to you, and I was showing it to you before I did this, but then I started doing this without talking to let you all know what it is I'm attempting again. So, but you'll still see the video showing this, me making the hole here and me making the little spouts uh, here and, um, and the little spouts here and so on and so forth. And as you can see with the holes, you already have an idea of what I'm attempting to make again. And that is another fountain, fountain I'm making from scratch. So, uh, as you can see, just making it from, you know, every everyday things you might have around the house, you know, different things you might have too much of, or if, if you don't have it, you, you don't have to spend a lot to go and get these things because this, uh, this is like a cake plate, no, it's not a plate, it's a cake, you sit in the cake plate to sit the cake on top of so I forgot what you call it but that's what this is and this I bought this from a local store uh, by my house it was like five or six in a pack for two either two fifty or three dollars it was three dollars or less so yeah that's why I bought this and the rest of this came from uh, the Dollar Tree you know except for the holes you have to go and get your holes from um, from a place like where people go when you have fish, you know, you have a fish tank and a home and you get those uh, some mini submersible pumps to put in the fish tank. So uh, you have to go places that kind of sell stuff like that, maybe Menard or, because I think I got those one from Menard. But uh, yeah, you have to get the holes, uh, maybe Amazon, because you have to get the mini submersible pump as well you know for the water to go through and come through the holes and and bring the water out for the fountain so like i told you all before i'm trying to get pretty good at these so uh every so often uh, i'm gonna make one out of something you know just to see if i can make it out of it and see how well it works okay so uh that's what we're doing here that's what we that's what we are doing um i'm attempting to make another fountain so we'll see how this works okay we're gonna get back started from where i left off at so we're gonna get started with that all right let's go <music>
Okay, everyone. Now, uh, what I did, I went and, well, you know, it wasn't working like I wanted it to work, so I revisited it. And you can see that at the top. But, uh, what I did is, I got this little top. This is just like a top to like a olive oil can or uh, something like that. That's what I got this for because it wasn't working right because I had two cups like this. So it wasn't working quite right. So I glued everything and I let it sit for a minute so it could really set in. So that could really glue stick could really set in. And then I painted it white. And as you see, I got the lights. Uh, I had the lights on the back at first, but you won't be able to see it down in the water when it's on. So you want to see the lights in the water. So I'll put the lights around here. And so I'm going to glue. So now I'm going to glue the lights around here. And I'm going to put uh, a little like wallpaper design on the back. And I'm going to decorate like up in here around I'm going to decorate up in here, around in here, and just around the top of the bowl. And again, I didn't glue the bowl because the majority of the water is going to be in this bowl. And you you know, you want to have to pick the whole thing up to pull the water out. You just want something, you pick the water, the bowl up and pull the water out and put water in. Okay, so uh, that's it. So I did, I painted everything white and um, it's looking nice and it's working as best as I want it to work so yeah it's, it's 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 okay so we're gonna let me go ahead and decorate and then finish the whole thing up so let's finish it
All right, everybody. Ooh, okay. Here it is in a nutshell. It's all done. Okay, I'm gonna do the back a little better than this to cover up the holes in the back. I, you know, I, you saw I did it with this wallpaper stuff, but I don't like, you know, I, I did it with this wall, with this wallpaper stuff, but I don't like how I had to patch it up and everything. I don't like the way, and I may do it with this wallpaper stuff, but maybe a different way. Maybe put the wallpaper on a cardboard, cut the cardboard out, and, uh, and um, have it kind of puffed out a little bit so the uh, so the holes could go right inside of the uh, cardboard. I think I need that uh, that that thing that uh, uh lighting. Not lighting. I'm sorry. I, I, I believe I need that, uh, that hot iron thing. I, I believe I need the hot iron thing because, uh, I can, if I had that, I probably could have just melted the back of this here. I could have melted the back of this that's long enough for the holes and I could have like put a hole in the bottom of bottom that's what I wish I would have did put a hole like in the bottom of this here and brought the holes through there and then bring the holes up and uh and then put it on the back of and then put it on the back of this and then cover it up that probably would have worked out more better with this wallpaper stuff. Ah, I, as I'm talking through it, I, I, I get the idea. But yeah, I'm gonna fix the back up uh, a little better than what I got it to cover the holes. And see with the holes showing like this here, I was thinking about putting like like I got flowers around here, putting some like these flowers on top of the holes around here, and that'll also cover it up. And as you see, we got the shell covered up. I mean, the shell covering up the, uh, the pump. So, I'm kind of getting, I guess, different ideas and more and more things to try to uh, uh, fix it up real good. So, here it is in a nutshell, guys. Another fountain made just from stuff that you probably already have around the house. Or if you don't, it's very inexpensive to go and uh, purchase cause like I said I got this board here I already had all of this but where I got them from this is just a top off of my olive oil and yeah uh, this this is harder to melt because the plastic is a little thicker than this one this was harder this was a little harder to melt with the glue gun so that heart iron is probably a good idea. But yeah, this came from just the top of my olive oil, just the top that was on top of my olive oil. And I recycled that. And uh, I got these little cups. I don't know, it's a six or so in the pack. These came from the Dollar Tree. I, I did already have them, but they came from Dollar Tree. This here, uh, cake, kind of cake platter plate. I got from a local store and it was five or six of those in a pack for maybe three dollars of this right here and this bowl also this bowl down here came from a local store by me and it was like three of them for a dollar I think I think it was like three of these for a dollar and then you know the hostess she seashell. Oh, sorry, please forgive me. And a host of seashells and rocks and these flowers. Those all came from the Dollar Tree. And this pie pan. This came from the Dollar Tree. And uh, like I said before, the only thing that I bought 
was the hose and the submersible water pump. The submersible water pump. So those are the only things that I did buy because I know I want I want to make fountains and I want to show how to just make make nice looking fountains out of things you just have around the house. So uh yeah, this is it in a nutshell, everybody. So, I, I got it together. Only problem, like I said, is uh, I wish I would have did the back a little bit different. So, I just thought about how I do the back. So, from now on, I'm going to see, a, I'm going to think of a way to bring the holes through the back of whatever I'm using or uh, make a little slit or cut so, so whatever it can fit over it. So, I'm thinking of different ways on how to hide the holes and the uh, pump. So, yeah. So we. So this is it. Let's see if the light, how the light looks. Ooh. Yeah, you can see the light. Can you turn the light off? Oh, okay. You can see the light down there. Put it up so. You can see the light. I was going to decorate around the top part of this, but I think it's okay with the flowers coming over onto it from what I got down here at the bottom and over here. I think I'm going to put some right here on the holes. After I uh, think of another way to hide the holes, I want to take this and loose and, and redo it through here so maybe I could do something at the bottom and get it through there without it messing up my lights and stuff we'll see how that work out but okay I'm gonna think of another way on how to uh, have the holes okay so here it is in a nutshell guys I do thank you all so much for coming Stopping by that to watch and see what's going on with me, what I'm doing and everything. Um, I, like I've said before in the recent ones, uh, I do have a website. If you are, uh, well, like it. Uh, hold on, let me plug it back up. I have. I unplugged it by accident. Okay, I unplugged it back up. It should be stuck back running. Okay, um, I do have a website for anyone who would like to purchase any of the any of the crafts that I'm making. The website will only be up until the end of July, but if it does well, it it'll be up longer. So, I'm going to put the website in the description box. And I also have another channel, which is a jewelry channel. I'm also teaching everyone how to make their own. I'm also teaching everyone how to make their own jewelry. So, I have another jewelry channel. And you also, I'm going to leave that description. I'm going to leave that information in the description box as well. So, stop by the jewelry channel to, you know, learn how to make jewelry if you're interested. So, uh, and again, like I always say, if you're not able to purchase anything, or you decide you just want to make it yourself, you don't want to purchase it, you can always subscribe. Subscribe, share, and like. That is a good thing. Just subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Subscribe, share, and like. And that would be all. That's wonderful as well. So, so either way, so subscribe, share, and like, and don't cost a thing. So this is it in a nutshell, everyone. And I'm, I'm again like I always say I'm, I'm, I'm gonna make more I'm, I'm thinking of different ways how to just make it so I showed you from the beginning how it looked and now I'm showing you how to, to finish so it was just all separated pieces and stuff you probably already have around the house you know and, and again like I said if not it's not expensive to go back so until next time everyone be blessed be safe and always take time to be kind 
Thank you so much for stopping by. Until next time, bye. Okay, hello my sparkling and sunshines. I'm back. Now, wait, pause. Hold on. Okay, as I was saying, uh, you know, I was saying, I know I said uh, bye for now, but I just want to come back and show you uh, what I did because I told you I was trying to think of another way to hide the holes. So you see here, I, where I took the holes, and you can see it sits down a little better. The because uh, uh, it got, it has a. Uh, suction cups on the bottom of the submersible water pump and you see I did what I did right here uh, I want to make sure you see it right there I, I I did my glue gun I used my glue gun and I just melted a hole right there from the back and I uh, ran it uh, up the back and then from down you know from up the back up the back behind here I ran it from down here and then put it and brought it back through here through the hole instead of coming around and brought it through the hole and then set it into the pump and that looked more uniform and that's much better and uh, I don't I'm, not, I'm sure I'm still not sure about the idea but I did find uh, this uh, it's like a mirror type of uh, paper. So, uh, let me go back some so you can see a little bit. See, it's like a mirror type of paper. So, that way I could kind of cover the holes with that. So, uh, I might do that and then that way I can have. That's why I got my masking tape in spots. So, I'm trying to see how to do it. So, I'm thinking how I'm going to cover the holes that way. See, now the holes are just coming up the back right here. Where I'm rubbing my finger at, that's where it is. So uh I got this mirror paper to cover it. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. And then that way I can sit, I can glue the battery pack on the outside of the dish right there. Because you need if you use the lights, you, you gotta be able to change the batteries and you gotta turn the uh lights on and off. So yeah. So you have to turn them on and off. Uh you know, if you use the battery pack, unless you get a lights with plug, so you have to turn them on and off, and you got to change batteries. So, yep, so that's what I did. I, I bring it straight down, straight. Oh, my finger too close. I brought it straight down here and put it th through there. But you see, this is all covering, and put it through there and and brought it uh, uh, and brought it through this hole uh oh sorry brought it on through this hole and then put it on to, into the most submersible uh, water pump so that's what I did so that's more uniform that's much better so I'm still not sure if I'm gonna put that mirror paper on the back we'll see what I uh, what I'm gonna do for the back but I could cover the holes up, you know, even better. All right. Again, guys, until next time. Bye. I just want to show you that. Bye.